Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala wa ba'd. Ayyuhal ahibba, one of the things that comes to mind when we think of the month of Ramadan is Salat al-Tarawih. In this short segment, we want to look at a few matters pertaining to Salat al-Tarawih. First and foremost, what is Salat al-Tarawih? Salat al-Tarawih basically refers to some extra prayers, voluntary prayers, that the Muslims offer during the month of Ramadan after Salat al-Isha. Some may ask, so what is Qiyamul Layl? The reality is Salat al-Taraweeh is part of Qiyamul Layl. Qiyamul Layl refers basically to voluntary prayers that are offered during the night. So when we speak of a Taraweeh, then a Taraweeh, Salat al-Taraweeh, the Taraweeh prayers are actually part of Qiyamul Layl. And we now offer them after Salat al-Isha in order to make it easy for the people. If we wanted, we could offer them after the middle of the night. We could offer them later than that and so forth. So the reality is that Salat al-Taraweeh and Qiyam al-Layl uh, are more or less one in the same one in the same prayer. The reason these prayers are referred to as the Taraweeh prayers is that in previous years, or shall we say, amongst the Salaf, our pious predecessors, they used to lengthen this Salah so much that people used to become tired, and so after every set of four raka'ah, four units of prayer, then they used to take a rest, istiraha. Okay, this is what they used to, this is what they used to do. And it's reported uh, authentically that when Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu arda uh, asked Ubay ibn al-Ka'b and Tamim al-Dari to leave the people in, in 11 raka'ah of, uh, of Qiyam, of Taraweeh, uh, then the reciter would recite for such a long period of time that the people would become tired and lean on their canes. They would lean on, on sticks from, from the tiredness. In any event, so Salat al-Taraweeh and Qiyam al-Layl are one and the same, and it can be offered any time after Salat al-Isha, right up until the break of true dawn. So the time for Taraweeh or Qiyam al-Layl ends with the, uh, with the entrance of the time of Salat al-Fajr. So as far as Qiyam al-Layl or Salat al-Taraweeh is concerned, then know that it has great virtues or merits. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Praise in the Quran, he praised those who engage in these prayers. So he said, for example, as we find in Surah Al Sajda, تَتَجَافَى جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Basically, meaning, pray, uh, the sides part from their beds. That is, rather than sleep, they stand in prayer. They supplicate their Lord in fear and aspiration. And from what we have provided them, they stand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, also while describing his believing slave, says, وَالَّذِينَ وَالَّذِينَ يَبِيتُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ سُجَّدًا وَقِيَامًا In Surah Al-Furqan. And those who spend a part of the, uh, of the night before their Lord standing in prayer. It was also the habit of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as you know very clearly, that he used to stand in prayer just about every night. And we know from the hadith, such as the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha wa arbaha, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would pray 11 raka'ah every night in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. But he also said, فَلَا تَسَلْ عَنْ حُسْنِهِنَّ وَطُولِهِنَّ And don't even ask about how uh, perfect they were and how long they were. Salawat Rabbi wa salamahu alayhi. This is how he used to spend his nights in prayer. And we learn that at times he used to spend the early part of the night in voluntary prayer, at times he spent the middle part of the night in voluntary prayers, and at other times he would spend the late portion of the night in voluntary prayers. Specifically, with regards to Salat al-Taraweeh, then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ قَامَ رَمَضَانَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Basically meaning that anyone who spends the night in Ramadan, مَنْ قَامَ رَمَضَانَ uh, who spends the night of, of Ramadan or a portion of the night in Ramadan in prayer, that is in voluntary prayer, Salat al-Taraweeh, out of faith, 
and anticipating reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This person does this sincerely for the sake of Allah jalla wa ala, hoping for the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for any other worldly gains, then such a person will have their previous sins forgiven. So this is a huge incentive for us to offer and to pray Salat al-Taraweeh. Quickly, can we restrict Salat al-Taraweeh to a certain number of rak'ahs, or can we say that it's open and you can pray as many as many rak'ahs as you want? Here we hear a lot of debate amongst the people. Should it be eight? Should it be twenty? Etc. Etc. But we learn from the Sunnah. We learn from the Sunnah. The habit of the Prophet ﷺ was that he prayed eleven rak'ah, or as in another hadith of uh, Ibn Abbas radiAllahu uh, thirteen rak'ah. Basically, you subtract three from those in order to give you what the uh, the qiyam or the taraweeh part is, and, and the other three are uh, are the wisdom, which actually is also part of of the qiyam. So, either eight or ten, for example. All right, this we know. But don't forget the rest of the hadith where uh, Aisha radiallahu anha said, don't even ask about the uh, perfectness and the length of that, of that salah. Then we look at other hadith and we see that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, salatu layli masna masna, that the night prayer, and he's referring to the voluntary night prayers, are to be done in units of two. So here he does not... Uh, he does not restrict them to a certain number. Therefore, we say that, you know, the door is open, if you will, when it comes to this matter. We shouldn't be, uh, you know, so strict as to say you can't pray more than four or you can't pray as many as twenty. No, if you wish to pray more. And this is why, uh, basically, the ulama said uh, that although it's preferred to pray, say, for example, the eight raka'ah, in which you should try to uh, lengthen the recitation, because as we learned uh, in a previous segment, that the Prophet ﷺ said, أَفْضَلُ الصَّلَاةِ طُورُ الْقُنُوتِ That the best of the prayers are those in which the recitation is, uh, is prolonged or extended. Right. So, it's open. If a group of people decided that they would pray a larger number of raka'at, and in each rakah, they would shorten the recitation because this is easier for the people. Then, alhamdulillah, it is for them to do so, and it is not for us to go and to, to say that you're not allowed, etc., etc. Although we would prefer that we restrict them to eight rakahs, uh, lengthening the recitation, and complete with uh, the three rakah of uh, al wisr What about women? Are they allowed to come and pray Salat al-Taraweeh in congregation? We know that praying Salat al-Taraweeh in congregation is permissible, and I would say, looking at our circumstances today, it is probably better for us to do so, simply because of the fact that us remaining home would normally lead to us becoming lazy and not even offering Salat al-Taraweeh or going through them very quickly and not reciting as uh, we would hear the recitation in the masjid. So especially for the men, it's highly recommended that, yes, we do go to the masjid and we pray Salat al-Taraweeh in jama'ah for the women. This is also permissible. And I would venture to say, in many cases, it may be better for the women to go to the masjid. Remaining at home, there are too many temptations and distractions. The television, the telephone, etc., etc. So yes, for the women also, it is permissible to go to the masjid and pray Salat al-Taraweeh in jama'ah but keeping in mind that they must go uh, dressed in the hijab and there have to be proper facilities for them so there is not that free intermingling and so on and so forth in, in the masjid. Ala kullin, these are just a few short words pertaining to Salat al-Taraweeh. I hope that inshallah ta'ala every single one of us will make a concerted effort to pray Salat al-Taraweeh. One final thing. If you go to the masjid and are praying Salat al-Taraweeh, complete with the imam, whether they pray the 11 or they pray the 23, pray with the Imam until the end. Because the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, مَنْ قَامَ مَعَ الْإِمَامِ حَتَّى يَنْصَرِفَ كُتِبَ لَهُ قِيَامُ لَيْلَهُ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام. That whoever stands with the Imam until he leaves, in other words, from beginning to end of these uh, voluntary prayers, then it will be written for them as though they spent the entire night in prayer. May Allah Azza wa Jal grant us the strength to offer these prayers and may He subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them from us. Hadha wa Allahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ismail.